Was your Amazon detail page removed? Don't stress, I'm gonna be showing you how to get it reinstated in today's video. And if you, you stay till the end, I'm gonna be giving you four secret tips to help you get your Amazon listing reinstated. I'm Josh Hackett, CEO and founder of EHP Consulting Group. Let's dive in. So step one is to figure out the exact issue that's causing your listing to be deactivated. What's the issue? Go to your account health and see if there's a restricted policy notification. Scroll down. Maybe there's policy warnings. Maybe there's a product compliance request. Figure out what's wrong with your listing, right? Restricted policy violations. We go here and then we can see uh, listing removed what was impacted, it has the listing, restricted products, policy violation. You can look at this, it's very, very vague. Sometimes it's more specific, but you can submit an appeal here and then you can uh, accept it or you can dispute it if you believe it was deactivated in error. You can just click here and then you can dispute it and say why it was deactivated in error. You can also call the account health specialist and you can ask them, hey, what documents do I need to provide? Why is my listing taken down? Was it a keyword? What's causing this issue? Next is going to be going to your performance notifications to figure it out. So you're gonna be writing down, okay, what do you think is the reason? Is it the title? Is it the bullet points? Is it the images? Is the listing, the product just not allowed to be sold on Amazon? What is the reason? So we're gonna to go to performance notifications and also check and try to figure out, okay, did they send us a performance notification? And in the performance notification for this product, they actually tell us what the reason was. This product has been identified as a non-implanted electronic continence device. It's professional use only, right? So here's what you need to provide us, number one, number two, number three. And then if you can't provide us something else, provide us number one, number two, number three. So pretty much six things you wanna provide them to get this reinstated. Uh, and that is the next step. So that's step number one, figure out what the issue is and what Amazon wants. Figure out the issue already and now we know what Amazon wants from the performance notification. We can also call the account health team and see, hey, what am I missing here? If you figured out that maybe it's your title or your bullet points that caused the issue, you can call Amazon, talk to the catalog team and ask them to help you remove that keyword in the title or that keyword in the bullet points. Just removing it will help it get reinstated. So you provide them with a new title, new bullet points without those keywords that aren't allowed on Amazon. Then you ask for reinstatement. Then the product will get reinstated because they're gonna look at it and say, okay, well, there's no violation here. Why was it taken down? Okay, we'll reinstate it. That's the quick way. If Amazon is asking for specific documents, then it is a little bit harder. You should still call Amazon, ask what documents you need, and then time to talk to Amazon and get them those documents. In this case, you're going to copy the ASIN and then we're going to go to help and get support, get help and resources. And this is when we contact Amazon. So there's two different ways to do it. So if you wanna to get to the right team right away, you click on listing not viable and then you're gonna put in the ASIN. Are you having search issues? Yes, and then click yes. This is going to route it to the correct team the first time contact an associate, and you're gonna provide the issue, submit and review. Now, sometimes they take like 10 days to get back to you. So I always like to update to create a second case as well. So here's your first case. Now we're gonna go and create a second case. And to do the second case, you put my issue is not listed. Howdy, ASIN, I want to sell, need help reinstated please what do i need to provide something like that so that way they tell you hey you need to provide these documents then you can submit it to them continue my issue is not listed product or listing related and then you're going to start it off with an email or a chat so i would email it first and then i would chat with them and then the next day you could call them and ask them for an update right if you do it, the first way I showed you is going to route it to the correct team, but it's going to be most likely email only. So just keep that in mind. 
I like to have two separate cases and open them in two separate ways. So that way one's routed directly to the correct team and one has kind of a seller support person that's helping you direct it to the right team. So having two cases always helps. And it usually takes around two to 60 days to get the listing reinstated, right? So two days, if it's a quick problem, like the title, right, the bullet points, maybe it'll take two days to get reinstated. If it's a large issue and they're asking for tons of documents, it may take up to 60 days. Thanks for making it to the end. Here are my super secret expert tips. And number one is going to be calling Amazon every other day. So I wouldn't bombard them every single day, but once you open this email, you're gonna wait a day and then call them the next day because it only takes one person that cares or has the power in the company to reinstate your listing. I've had it happen so many times where I call Amazon and call Amazon again and then finally I get a hold of somebody and they're like, today's my anniversary. And I'm like, oh, that's so great. Your job is to connect with this seller and make them care. That's so amazing. Oh, I figured I've done this before. I'm just gonna route it to this team and they'll have it reinstated tomorrow. And boom, it's reinstated tomorrow. So you just need to call and get in touch with the right person sometimes. And that's why I always recommend calling every other day. And then also when you call them, trying to escalate it. So you're gonna start with the seller support, which is the lowest, they have the, the lowest amount of power. Then you're gonna try to get it, say, hey, can I get transferred to the catalog team? Can I get this transferred to the captive team? And then to the leadership team. Sometimes the brand registry team can also fix it. There's also the executive relations team. You don't really want to ever email them unless uh, you've tried every, you've got to the leadership team. Leadership team said they'd fix it. They didn't fit. You have like screenshots that said they would reinstate it and it's not reinstated yet. That's when you go to the execs. But you want to keep all the cases open and stay on top of it. Number two is not using flat files. So if Amazon asks for invoices and you submit an invoice like this, and you can see I can highlight it, it's editable. Amazon is going to think it's fake 90% of the time. 10% of the time, they'll just accept it, right? But 90% of the time, what you need to do is download the invoice, make sure it's not editable, go to a, a flattened PDF, a, a, someone that flattens your PDF so it's not editable anymore, and then use that to submit it to Amazon. So most of the documents you submit to Amazon, you wanna make sure that it's not editable so Amazon doesn't think that you manipulated the document. That's a huge tip that a lot of sellers don't do. And next, for your invoice, your invoice, whatever it says, it should have the amount due as zero and it shouldn't be super pretty, right? See this invoice, this one's legit. It shouldn't be super pretty, super nice. It should be straightforward, like how invoices are supposed to look. It shouldn't have a picture of the product or whatever, just kind of something, an item description, maybe an ASIN right here would be nice, but it needs to match your seller business name and your seller business address. So everything needs to be in your seller central account. If it says EHP consulting firm, your legal name better be EHP consulting firm on Amazon or Amazon will not accept it. Again, if this is the wrong address, make sure you either update the invoice address or update the address in your Amazon Seller Central account so everything matches. And then my last tip is to continually follow up with Amazon. You wanna keep those cases open so that way you can try to lift it. If Amazon sees you've been working on the same case for 30 days, they wanna get that closed out. So they, they will definitely say, look, I've been working on this for 30 days, escalate this to the leadership team and they will. They will, they're more likely uh, going to escalate it. And if you do need help selling on Amazon, feel free to contact EHP Consulting Group. We specialize in listing reinstatement. Not only that, we do full Amazon account management to help you increase your sales, make sure your listings don't get taken down, make sure your account stays in good health, and much, much more. But if you do need listing reinstatement, contact us at EHP Consulting Group and we'll help you get this problem solved. Talk to you soon.